The following is an example of an initial value problem. In this example, we're given the second derivative of a curve and asked to find the equation of the curve. And we have two other pieces of information to work with. So we're going to begin by remembering that <coughs> to start with the second derivative, we need to integrate it, and that gives us the first derivative. And y is a function of x. So the integral of y double prime dx is going to be the first derivative. So let's work that out. That's going to be the first derivative is the integral of 10x squared minus 2dx, which is going to give us 10x cubed over 3 minus 2x plus c. We'll call it c1 since we're going to have another constant. Now to find c1, we need to substitute in for x and for y prime. The point we're given in the question is x comma y on the curve, so the x value is fine. <coughs> However, the y prime value is not 3, that's the y value y prime refers to the slope of the tangent. We have the equation of a line perpendicular, so we could find the slope of this line. That's perpendicular to the curve, meaning the slope of the tangent line is the negative reciprocal of this one. So to find the slope of this line, we can simply take the derivative. Remember, the derivative is slope. So if we take the derivative of x minus 10y minus 5 equals 0, the derivative is 1 minus 10 y prime minus 0 equals 0. And solving for y prime gives us 1 over 10. However, this is the slope, y prime, of the perpendicular line. We need the tangent. So the slope of the tangent, which is our y prime over here, is the negative reciprocal of that, which would be negative. 10. <coughs> Excuse me. Continuing then, we put in negative 10 for y prime, 1 for x, so 10 over 3 times 1 cubed, minus 2 times 1, plus c1, and rearranging tells us c1 is equal to negative 34 over 3. Now we can replace that and we have y prime. To find y then, we have to integrate the new function. So we we'll make some space in the middle here. To find y, we take the integral of y prime with respect to x, or in this case, the integral of 10x cubed over 3 minus 2x minus 34 over 3 dx. And that gives us <coughs> 10x to the 4 over 3 stayed with over 4 gives us 12, 3 times 4 minus 2x squared over 2 minus 34 over 3x plus a constant, a second constant. And that second constant is what we need to find. Well, we know this is y equals, so now we know y. We know x, we can substitute to find c2. So plugging in for y and x, we get 3 equals. 5 over 6 times 1 to the 4, so we can leave that off, minus the 2's here cancel, 1 squared is 1, so minus 1, minus 34 over 3 times 1 is 34 over 3, plus a constant. Rearranging those pieces then tells us that the constant is 29 over 2, or 14.5.
the question was find the equation, so that means the final equation is 5 over 6 x to the 4 minus x squared minus 34 over 3 x plus 29 over 2.